Hello YouTubers, you can call me just Z. I'm starting something new here, my first time doing YouTube, and I'm going to be showing off Minecraft. I know a lot about it, I've been playing it since the alpha. And uh, this is the Feed the Beast Ultimate Pack. I'm going to try to show all the new things that are very advanced and very complex um, to show everyone how it works. Um, I do have waypoints here at the beginning that I accidentally have from a previous world that I had to get rid of and uh, did get rid of that for you guys. <laughs> uh, started off and basically just made a foundation. Um, I did speed it up to make it a little bit quicker. It's uh, it would be pretty drawn out. I'm mo mainly mining at the beginning, which you know makes sense and. Uh, made my first few chests, uh, made uh, an iron furnace I think is as far as I got um, and that's about the first nine minutes so I'm just going to let it skip forward here and talk to you guys then. Okay, for those of you who have watched the previous nine minutes I'm sure a couple of you are asking some questions here. Um, I'm going to start with why charcoal? Well, because you're going to need a lot of coal because of Greg Tech. Uh, Greg Tech does require hundreds and thousands of coal um, in order for you to make a way to have an infinite amount of power. Uh, solar panels are the best way to do things still. Uh, they're entirely differently designed now, though, than they were in the past. Um, and the other thing is why electrical furnace over powered furnace? Well, because the main goal here is to get the, that macerator. The macerator is the number one best way still to this day to uh, get the most out of your ore. And why am I showing everything and why am I fast forwarding? I'm showing everything because I want to show that I'm never going to cheat. Not once. Um, sometimes whenever these other modders will go off camera supposedly to do something legitimately, uh, you can kind of tell that sometimes they would be cheating in that case and I'm doing this to prove that there will never be a cheating moment um, <clears throat> and the fast forwarding is for people who don't want to sit there and watch that whole thing I mean it's to help cut down the time and uh, show the main points of where people can learn some things and uh, yeah just leave it at that And uh, the main goal right now is to finish getting the electric furnace, a generator, and getting uh, started on the mace raider. The mace raider will be very hard to make at first. Um, it is kind of resource heavy. Um, I mean, I could go with the pulverizer and all that stuff to go to start with. Uh, I honestly don't think that it's actually a good idea to start doing that. It's uh, it, it's in a way a waste of resources because you you need so much in order to do this as it is. Yeah, you'll get a little bit extra back from your ores and things, but overall, it's just it's just not worth it. Um, because by the time I go through making all that, I will probably have the mace raider already. Um, the main thing is getting the diamonds at first, um, which of course will be a challenge, but that's to be expected. Um, and yeah, that's the goal now. Hey guys, so a bit of a problem happened, which is really unfortunate. A, um, I tried to full screen while using my video capturing software, and I kind of had nothing but blackness for quite a while there so I did cut that part out which is unfortunate because that was the time I got diamonds and made obsidian and got the netherworld and got some glowstone um, yeah it's very unfortunate that it did happen but eh, my first video so uh, we'll, we will just keep going Alright, so now we're back. Let's uh, I'm gonna try to recap on what happened here. Um, 
very unfortunate that I did lose all that. So I'm just going to go around and show where I found what to do what I did while it was full screen and we lost that part. So out here is where the nether portal is. And I did just make a tower up, get some glowstone, and ran out. Best way to do the nether, in my opinion, is to just take like a stone sword, stack of 64 cobblestone, and a stone pickaxe. Then if you die, it doesn't. It's not as bad. Don't even take torches with you. And up here is actually where I did find about eight diamonds. I got really lucky on the diamonds here. And I found some redstone over here. And I uh, found some lava here, brought a water bucket, made some obsidian to make the portal. A quick little mining tip: at floor 10 is a good one to get is a good floor to get diamonds, uh, some silver, lead, redstone, and also usually lazurite. It's uh, an or lapis. Either way, um, it is a good floor to get that stuff. Um, on floor 30, it's good to get. Let's see, on floor 30, it was good to get the 10 and on 50 it was good to get the copper and you can get iron on pretty much any floor all the way down to bedrock all the way up to the, I think 63 or something like that it uh, iron can be pretty much anywhere so uh, just looking for other resources you'll end up getting plenty of iron uh, usually it's not too much of an issue at certain points it will become very important that you're going to need thousands of it but that's um, still far from where I'm at right now. Okay, now I'm going to make a project table here, actually. That's something I need to work on. And then start working on the macerator. As you can see here, the macerator resources requires a lot more now to make. It's, it is much more difficult. Personally, I think it should be. It's you're talking about double the resources by having this thing permanently. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it should be that way. Uh, Drag Tech does a very good job at rebalancing it to where you don't get everything in the game in like five minutes. Uh, it takes a bit longer. It's more of an achievement whenever you actually get something. There's also much more tier four tech to it, so it makes the game much more challenging and overall just a better game. However, the one thing that I do think Craig Tech does need is to make it possible with UU Matter to make uranium. Uh, it's been on the forums a lot, I believe, that uh, hopefully the Greg Tech developers might see this, might, might not. Uh, the if you use 8 UU matter, it should take more than what it would take to power a nuke, so it wouldn't be infinite. You would be losing power over time instead. So that should be possible. I, I don't see why that hasn't ever been done. Yeah, it is still possible with the bees, and that is the way I'm going to be doing it eventually. It, uh, it just should be possible with UU matter as well. It is my one and only complaint that I've got with Greg Tech. Overall, it is a great mod. There's so much more to the game than there ever was. And they go through and rebalance everything from multiple mods. A lot of people see this as a downside. I see it as an upside. It's uh, They really change it in ways where the game takes a lot more thinking. Uh, and I, I don't know, I guess for some people that's not good. I, they don't want that. I'm not sure why. But, uh, yeah, I definitely think that they should just keep doing what they're doing. They've been doing a great job.
I'm going to be mining a little bit more here, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit longer here. Alright, now the best way to start off with wiring is with the copper wiring. It can do 32 EU, which is all that's needed before the machines blow up. Uh, it's exactly what a generator will output maximum as well, so it's a good thing to start with. You don't want to use them for very long though, and I don't recommend using transformers. A lot of people will, you'll see them using MV transformers and LV transformers. They tend to be not a good way to go. Uh, if you use transformer upgrade, it's going to be much better for future upgrading and wiring if you use those as soon as you possibly can. It will, just one transformer upgrade and each thing will be able to handle an MFE. Uh, two will be able to do an MFSU, so that's all you would ever need is two transformer upgrades in each thing. Totally worth it to get an MFSU to go through everything without any needing to go through transformers or anything to get things to work. Also, the main reason why is because of the overclockers. You're going to need to be able to use overclockers up to about 12 to get everything to go in less than a second eventually at some point. In order to do that, you're going to also need those transformer upgrades anyway. So there's more than one reason why it's better just to use those and not even use the transformers. Uh, the generator is a good thing to start with. Just throw coal in it. Well, charcoal. Never use coal. You need to use the coal to mace rate it and to make solar panels to your nano armor. It's used for all the carbon plates. Uh, you need so many carbon plates in this uh, with the way it is. So coal, you never ever want to use it for energy. If you're out of energy, you definitely want to go chop some wood, burn it, and use the charcoal from it. And the next thing I'm going to get after the generator is actually an extractor here and the reason why I do two spacings like you see instead of them instead of it just by one is because I can use things in between like pipes and so on and so forth in the future to go ahead and, and automate certain things I'm going to fast forward again here to the next important part here. This part was something else. Um, this is my second rubber tree. It grew and absolutely no resin. Could not believe it. Looked for quite a while thinking, wait, what? No resin again? Two times? Uh, so, yeah, decided to try to change the texture pack and um, it's still, still was no resin again on two trees. Uh, the odds of that are very slim. Usually you will get at least one out of two trees like that. So here I was going through the items and um, the Electrum ingots are something new. They are very good. As you can see you can get eight fiber wires instead of six or four other ways. It's the best way to get pretty much every item. The electronic circuits and the advanced circuits are definitely the best thing that it's for. You can get two of each one of those based off of how you use it. Uh, in order to make them you need uh, one silver and one gold dust and then you can get the electrum dust and combine it. Oh look at that, finally one resin can't believe it. Finally got one. And only one. <laughs> yeah, I've been having some pretty bad luck on that. Uh, I believe you can actually combine it a different way with the ally fornice. Uh I can't really remember if you can or not. Uh, the dust just seems to be the best way to do it. You don't even have to make any of that. You do need an ally fornice for other things and uh, way later on that I'm going to be making things with it. It is important. Uh, it's just uh, I, I won't need it for anything for a while. Another important thing here that you need in order to make the blast furnace, industrial blast furnace, 
is the main goal here, but in order to do that you need the blast furnace first in order to make steel the hard way at first. Uh, the blast furnace requires magma creams. Uh, you need blazer rods and slime balls in order to make them, or you can get them from the new lava slime enemies that are in the nether. However, that's a very rare drop and it's very hard to even find any. You'll be lucky if you get any. I might come across. If I do, that'd be great. Uh, but the best way to do it is to make a crystallizer. The crystallizer is a way that you can make the slime balls. And then all you need is the blaze rods, which you can get a couple of different ways. There's uh, one of the newer items as well is the flowers in the desert. There's, there'll be some blaze powder flowers and with the minimum stone you can actually get infinite blaze rods just like you could in the past uh, back in the Tekkit days if any of you guys have played that it was possible to do that and it still is I'm, I'm surprised that they actually kept it that way I'm kinda happy that they did because with the way it works now the minimum stone actually does degrade and I'm thinking the Philosopher's Stone might be doing the same thing under the Gita Recipe, hard to say, that, or it could be infinite like it was in Tekkit, and that could be going any way. Uh, the reason why it's good that there's durability right now is because it will, if you have an automatic crafting table, it will work, which is very awesome, but it will be something you got to keep an eye on. It will run out. It's not infinite, so you can't use it as a way to infinitely make a way to have energy with blaze rods. It won't work that way. Um, you would have to keep making minimum stones. So the main goal right now is to make the solar turbine which does take a lot of lead and a lot of silver. At first it just takes a tremendously large amount of lead to make the solar turbine. Uh, the motor and the fan require quite a bit. Uh, after you get that, you need lots of silver for the reflective mirrors. I'm going to slow down on that part to kind of show how I did it whenever I get there. Uh, so you guys can kind of see how I, how that works. Oh no, that was bad. I just died and whenever I fell there, another creeper exploded the second that I hit the ground. So I might have just lost my diamond pickaxe there and probably a lot of resources. Uh, I believe I had my clay on me and a couple of other things was working on making the solar turbine to get the factorization start stuff going and creeper blew up on top. I fell on a creeper blew up just as I landed on dying from fall damage. Uh, what kind of luck is that? Anyway, back to what I was saying earlier. I did not seem to get enough silver to finish making all enough reflective mirrors, but it will work once I get enough reflective mirrors going. Uh, it's just, it, I think it requires like seven or eight of them, so it, it requires almost an entire stack of 64 uh, silver to, in order to make enough reflective mirrors around that to get it going. Uh, and then after that, you use lead wires. It's a completely, it's one of the newer mods that I'm not too familiar with. I do know a little bit about it. Uh, I know enough to to make what I need out of it, basically, which is to power that crystallizer. It's the only way to power it. It requires it, that new kind of energy, and I believe it is part of the factorization mod, which is used for lots of other things as well. That you can do amazing things with that mod, but we'll get into that quite a bit later as well. And that should be it for the first one. Uh, remember to leave any feedback. I This is my first time. It took a lot of video editing. It uh, does take quite a bit of time to get it set up correctly. Now uh, I'm going to upload two different versions here. One's going to be with everything fast forwarding and no audio at certain points. The other one will be audio only, so it will skip to the points where there's just audio. I want to hear from you guys which which one you prefer. Uh, I believe, you know, one is just kind of showing that this is all legit and it's nothing's being tweaked off camera or anything like that. This is all all really happening just like this. 
uh, in real time. So, yeah, I'll see what you guys say.